Welcome to the Data Alliance YouTube channel. Today we are exploring the hugely popular dipole antenna, which is almost 150 years old. The prototype was invented in 1887 by the German physicist Heinrich Hertz. Later, the antenna was improved by Guglielmo Marconi, who used it in his radio transmission experiments. A regular dipole antenna has two conductive elements, typically a quarter wavelength long each, spaced with a small gap. This makes the entire antenna about half a wavelength long. Let's say we want to create an FM radio antenna optimized for 100 MHz. We calculate the wavelength by dividing the speed of light, which is approximately 300 million meters per second, by the frequency. This results in a wavelength of about 3 meters. In this case, a single dipole element would have a length of about 3 meters divided by 4, and the full dipole would have a total length of about 1.5 meters. The dipoles are connected to a transmission line, usually a coaxial cable. Antennas used for transmission convert electrical current into electromagnetic waves. On the other hand, antennas used for reception convert electromagnetic waves into electrical currents. The radiation pattern of a dipole antenna is perpendicular to the antenna conductor. It radiates energy perpendicularly to the axis. Dipoles have a bidirectional radiation pattern, which can be considered omnidirectional in the horizontal plane, though it is often described as a donut-shaped pattern. Main applications include AM-FM radio reception, television broadcasting, amateur radio communications, mobile communications, and simple Wi-Fi antennas. Top advantages of dipole antennas. Simple design and construction, low cost, good efficiency, omnidirectional radiation pattern, broad bandwidth capabilities. Top disadvantages of dipole antennas, fixed frequency operation, relatively low gain, require large physical space for low frequencies, susceptible to environmental interference, may need careful mounting and orientation. Despite its age, the dipole's simplicity and effectiveness ensure it remains a cornerstone of antenna technologies and radio communications.